So what does C do in them? Well, C is for change. Now, that's kind of a lie. Welcome to day five of Vim Holiday. Today we are talking about C, and what C does is it changes something. Now, that's not entirely true. It's um, there's no concept of change per se in the Vim docs. Uh, what change does is it does a deletion and an insert. Now those are two commands that we will learn later, delete and insert. C does both of them together. Now that's why a lot of people think of it as change, me included, and a lot of Vimmers call it change. Like when they're typing these macros in their mind, they'll say like change word. Because it does the delete and insert, it really does feel like a change. And so you'll you'll often hear the word change. I assume that that's what it was meant to imply. Let's open up a file called vim or a quick dash brown text. What you'll find here are five lines and each of them have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and they're numbered so we can kind of see what happens. If I hit C, nothing happens, okay? Lowercase c requires a motion. It needs a direction. So I'm going to use the arrow keys to provide that direction. I'm going to go right. Now what that did is that just deleted the current character, but now I'm in insert mode, um, as you can see right here. So I can say, change this to zero, or I can change it to 10, or I can do whatever I want. I'm just gonna keep it at one. I escaped out and I am back into normal mode. Now I can go in any direction. So if I uh, go to this word and I hit C left arrow, well, that deletes the I, puts me in insert mode again, and I can start typing from there. Escape to get out. I can also do C down, which will delete the entirety of the line that I'm on and the one below it and put me into insert mode again. And then I'm hitting U to undo. Escape U will undo the last change. Now these motions um, can be any type of in motion. So last time we learned back, right? So B is for back. Yesterday we learned back word. So if I say C and hit B, well then that's going to delete to the beginning of the word. Now you can see that because of where my cursor was, it didn't delete the whole word. Um, now, if I'm here and I do CB, it will delete that whole word. It's going to delete to where the beginning of the previous word is. So again, escape U to uh, undo. Um, so we can use those types of motions. Now, there is a shorthand with the lowercase c. We can type C twice, CC, and that will delete the entirety of the line. Now, let me uh, move to the middle of the line to illustrate that it doesn't matter where you are in this line, it will delete the entire line and insert. Now there's one thing we can do with uppercase C. Uh, with the uppercase C, we can navigate to a part in the line and say we want to change the entirety of the rest of this line. Um, we can hit capital C from that point. It's going to delete everything beyond that line and put us back into insert mode uh, where we can um, make our change and move on with our life. Now that's just about everything that you need to know about C. But I'm gonna throw something in for those of you who are a little bit more familiar with Vim. You can make a visual selection. So V ent enters you into visual select mode, and that allows you to make a selection. So it will hold on to this whole selection uh, for me. So if I don't want to delete by a number of words or delete the end of the line, I can hit V, enter a visual selection mode, and hit C, and that will just delete the part that I've selected and allow me to um, type there. There you go. So escape and we're back into normal mode. So now you know everything about C. There is C, there's CC, there is capital C, which deletes to the end of the line and um, the uh, C works with visual mode. Uh, now, if you have any questions, you can do colon H for help see and you will see all of this here. Now there's one more thing that you do need to know, which is this little thing. As you're reading this documentation on a couple of letters, you'll see this quotes X marking. And what that means is that we'll, it will take um, the deleted text and it will hold that in a register. Now you don't need to know all of that yet. All you need to know is, is that when you see this marking before a command, 
it means that it will kind of hold that in a register that you can then paste from later. So when we get to P and pasting, uh, you will be able to um, kind of change this. You can use change to delete something and then paste it somewhere else. And this, this is incredibly convenient. Uh, you will love this. So that's all I have. <laughs> So that's all I have on C. Um, again, if you wanna see the other letters, um, see the description for the playlist. Uh, I hope you're having fun and uh, we'll cover D tomorrow.